Right, World of Sports. Well, if I had bought this, I would have been sorely disappointed, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's pretty poor. There's only four sports in it. First of all, we've got the, um, I don't know, Sight Bike BMX thing that I'm terrible at. And then, what do we have moving on? We've got the, um, stupid surfing watch I'm even worse at. Um, the slalom skiing reminds me of horoscope skiing on the um, spectrum. It's pretty that terrible, ofe, really not very good. The only one that is pretty entertaining and never really played before is the cliff diving, where well, that's actually pretty good fun. I quite enjoy that one. My friend and I had a good sort of ten, twenty minutes having a quick shot with this. As you can see, the games, well, the two games I have for the system, it's not a you know bright lot to review. This brings me to the main problem: the system. You can pick one up on eBay, this is the console, boxed, generally for about 10 to 20 pounds plus postage, which is nothing for a boxed console on eBay. I think it's a great bargain. But the games, an unboxed cartridge will start at 10 to 15 pounds. A boxed game starts anywhere from 40 to 100 pounds, and considering there's only 40 games to the system, that's not good. My final thoughts? If you're a collector, yeah, it's nice to have in your collection. It's not something you're going to run out and buy because there's so many brilliant games on it, because there isn't. There's nothing that's not available on any other system. and You can easily emulate, not the GX4000 specifically, but other consoles and systems to play it on. If you're a collector, you'll already have it, planning on getting it. If you're looking for the games, don't bother. It's far too expensive to buy the games, so to build a collection, You'd be spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds for a console that's not really that good. Good. Avoid it, really. Okay, that's all for me. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.